Hi guys, it's Mrs. Barrett. Today we're gonna to read a book with a character called Curious George. Do you guys know Curious George? When I was your age, I loved Curious George books and I've always loved little monkeys since then. Although Curious George is technically an ape because he does not have a tail, but we can talk about that another time. Let me share my screen. Here we go. Today, we are going to read Curious George Discovers Recycling. This is read with permission of Houghton Mifflin Harcourt Books. Curious George was a good little monkey and always very curious. He was especially curious about protecting our environment and keeping the planet clean. Do you want to learn about recycling with George? Oh, look, there he goes. Oh, it looks like he's emptying his recycling bin. George had been getting ready to throw away a big bag of trash. As he was about to lift the heavy load into the garbage chute, he heard the doorman shout, wait, are you sure that trash is all trash? George didn't know what the doorman could be talking about. The bag was filled with things that George and his friend, the man with a yellow hat, no longer needed and were ready to throw away. We need to separate the recyclables from trash, the doorman told George, taking the bag. He grabbed a few of the items and tossed them in some big blue bins labeled with arrows. See the arrows there? Recycling makes our planet a lot neater, George. And on top of that, he said, handing him a flyer. There's a contest for the city's apartment buildings. The building that collects the most recycling wins. That all sounded great to George, except he didn't know what recycling was. And look, here we have a little, did you know? Did you know that recycling means making something new out of something old. While every community is different, most places recycle glass, plastics, cardboard, aluminum, such as soup cans, and paper. Things that can't be recycled are considered trash. Stuff like food scraps, styrofoam, wrappers, and used tissues and napkins, to name a few. Those things can't be recycled. George wanted to help recycle once he figured out how to do it. George showed the flyer to the man. Recycling makes old bottles and cans into new bottles and cans. Otherwise, trash would just pile up all over the planet, said the man with the yellow hat. This made George very worried. He didn't like thinking about Earth covered in trash. Ooh, and we have another did you know right here. Did you know that when something is thrown away, it ends up in a landfill? A landfill is a large hole in the ground where tra trash is buried and then covered over with soil to keep it from being spread around by animals and the weather. More garbage is added and covered with dirt again and again until the hole is full. When a landfill is full, it can be covered with grass, trees, or even a golf course. How funny, you could play golf right on top of it. Then a new landfill is created somewhere else. 
many things that end up in landfills could be recycled instead. The man with the yellow hat could tell that George was concerned. He had an idea. Say, George, would you like to visit the recycling center? Then you can see how this whole thing works. Just a few minutes ago, George didn't even know what recycling was. Now he was going to see it in action. On their way out, they saw the doorman bringing recyclables to the outside bins for the contests. We're off to an impressive start, the doorman said. Oh, and look, their dog's helping out too. Did you know that not everything can be recycled? Four common materials that can be recycled are paper, glass, metal, and plastic. Before your recyclables can be turned into something new, the recycling center has to sort and clean them. You can help by rinsing or scraping off your items before you recycle them. George and his friend arrived at the recycling center. George saw four big pictures hanging above four big containers. There was a box for cardboard, glass bottle, tin can, and plastic jug. Being a curious monkey, George jumped right into the bin full of glass bottles and jars. Just then, a man who worked at the recycling center came over. My monkey would like to see what recycling is all about, said the man with the yellow hat. The worker took a glass jar from George's hands, turned it over, and pointed to the bottom. There was something George had never noticed before. Three arrows shaped like a triangle. When you see three arrows like this, it means the item can be recycled, the worker said. Come with me. Once the item gets to the recycling center, the next step is it for it to be sorted properly and then cleaned, the worker explained. George saw lots of jars, bottles, and containers cruising down a conveyor belt. This is a conveyor belt. It has little wheels that make it keep moving. So things can come from here and go down or they can be going that way depending on which way the wheels are turning. They were going to end up in those big bins he'd seen. Test it out. When you see arrows with a number in the middle, the number indicates what the material is made of. Go into your kitchen cabinets and refrigerator and take a look at the containers you might find. Do you see any arrows? What do they say? How many things did you find with arrows on them? Do you and your family recycle these items? I bet. I'm looking to see what I've got around here. I bet there, I know there's one on the bottom of that, but that's full of water right now have any containers here but if you want to pause the video you could pause the video and go check those out now otherwise we're going to keep going then the worker showed george a poster it explained the recycling process recycled glass is broken into small bits and then melted down plastic too he said Explore further. 
Plastic and glass containers are sent to a recycling center. There, they are broken down into smaller bits, melted, and then made into even smaller pieces called granules. Lots of things are made from granules, like more plastic and glass bottles, window frames, and even outdoor furniture. Even recycled paper could be broken down to make new paper. George could hardly believe this was all possible. There was so much to recycle. Test it out, paper versus plastic. Plastic can take hundreds of years to completely decompose or break down. That's the fancy word for breakdown, decompose in nature. Paper will decompose more quickly, especially in wet conditions. Try wetting a plastic bag and wetting a paper bag. This can show you how both react to an element such as water. You can even try leaving one of each in your backyard for a day, a week, or even a month. Check on each bag to see what's happened as it's been exposed to sun, rain, heat, and more. What are your observations? That's another idea for a little, it's kind of like a science project if you want to try it out when we're done with the book. Back at the apartment, the competition was heating up and the doorman was worried they were falling behind. Thanks to a visit to the recycling center, George had some good ideas about he, how he could help recycle. He went upstairs to get started. In the refrigerator, George saw lots of containers he could turn in for the recycling contest, but none of them was empty. The olive jar only had a few olives left in it, and the ketchup container was only half full. What if George just combined them? Uh-oh. When George finished going through the refrigerator, he moved on to the rest of the apartment building. He saw big plastic paint buckets with the arrows on the bottom. He took them. He saw a grocery delivery just sitting outside an apartment door. He took the shampoo and juice bottles. A stack of pizza coupons? That could be recycled. He took the whole pile. All of these things would help fill his building's recycling bins. George was so happy to be helping and recycling. Oh my goodness, guys, what do you think? When do we recycle? Do we recycle before we've had a chance to use something? Do we recycle while we're in the middle of using something? Let's see what happens with George. While George was collecting these items, the doorman was talking to the doorwoman next door. Her building was competing in the recycling contest as well. The more people recycle, the better it is for the earth, she said. And if your building participates in some reuse programs, you help the planet even more. The doorman didn't know the difference between reusing and recycling. The door woman explained that reusing simply means using something again. In her building, People leave their magazines in a common area for other people to read. Instead of throwing away moving boxes, they keep them in the basement for other people to use as needed. Hey, I reuse my shopping bags, said the doorman. He was already doing it. Oh, and we have another did you know. Did you know there are lots of ways to help the environment? 
Have you heard about reduce, reuse, recycle? Reduce means to cut down on the amount of stuff you use every day. For example, instead of using disposable plastic water bottles, you can pour your water in a glass or a metal bottle to reduce the amount of plastic you use. So I have this bottle that I reuse for my water and I have this one that I reuse for my tea every day. And I just take them home and wash them and use them again. Reuse means to take the things you've already used and find a way to use them again. Handing down your clothes to friends or younger siblings is a good way <coughs> to reuse perfectly good pants and shirts. And of course, you already know lots about recycling by now. When the doorman returned to his recycling bins, they were already filled to the top. The doorwoman was impressed, but the doorman wasn't sure where all this stuff had come from until... Someone took my pink pails. My groceries were stolen. Where are our pizza coupons? Uh-oh, they were done with those things. All of their items were in the recycling bins. The doorman was confused. But just then, George came outside carrying another stack of newspapers. The man with the yellow hat was right behind him. I think I know where the extra recycling came from, the man said, holding his olive jar, which was now full of ketchup. George, you recycle things after you use them. Oops, George had forgotten that part. After George and the doorman returned all of the extra items, it turned out to be a tie with the doorwoman's building. The two buildings could share the trophy. George eyed the three big arrows on the front of the trophy. That's not recycling, George! They all laughed. George would get the hang of recycling soon enough. Wow, and here it shows you how to reuse some things to make other, like here, this is an old bottle that they're reusing as a bird feeder by putting bird seed in it, cutting a hole and hanging it in a tree. Here, they're using recyclable items to make a robot. So in craft projects, you can use things. Reuse, reduce, recycle. And if you guys want to, you can go through and see which of these items are meant to be recycled or reused and which ones should be thrown away. Did you know that nearly 100% of a computer can be recycled? Computers are made up of a lot of recyclable material, including plastic, metal, and glass. You may be surprised to know that there are lots of things beyond water bottles and newspapers that can be recycled. Some places recycle batteries, light bulbs, used CDs and DVDs, and yes, even electronics like computers and cell phones. Ask a grown up to help you look online to see what other kinds of things you and your family could be recycling. And if there were some words in there that you didn't know, you can go through here. I tried to make sure that we were covering those words as we were going through, but there's a little glossary here in the back if you wanna check any of those out. I hope you guys enjoyed our Curious George Discovers Recycling Book. 
And I hope you guys might have learned something in there too. Take care.